Welcome to another one like the other one. Be right back at you again on Facebook. I just really want to know because it's dark outside, you know. So it's a little dark out here tonight. It's dark, man. But I just really want to know: is y'all do y'all believe the gimmick that's being told about the American bully and all these different bloods? That's my question. Is do you believe the gimmick? That is being told about the American blood, bully blood and, and all these different bloods that's just popping up. Really, it's just a whole bunch of different names, right? Do you believe the gimmick? Like, these two dudes will go and breed some dogs. The next thing you know, they got a whole new bloodline off them two dogs. <laughs> That's, that's a gimme. You know what I mean? That's not how it works, but that's cool. That's how you want to put it. That's not how it works. You don't get a bloodline off of one breed. That's not how it works. That's most definitely not how it works. You don't get a bloodline off of no one breed. So it's like a gimmick. You know, like everybody just run and go breed a dog. This thing you know, boy got a whole complete bloodline off that dog, man. You know, that's not how it works. It's taking some people well over 20, 30, 40 years just to create a bloodline and get it to where they want it to be and perfect it. You know? Like they had said, the guys that uh, the guys died that was creating the Argentino Dogo. They didn't even get to see the dog. I got to read up on that some more, though. Yeah, it takes years to create a dog. This is the reason we got so many different names in, in the bully game. Every bully has his own name. A bully can have a puppy right now. Each one of them puppies would be their own bloodline. <laughs> Each one of them puppies would be his own blood. Like, that's not how it works, but that's what it is right now. That's really what it is. You know... It takes a few dogs to make a bloodline. Because really, in all reality, every single dog is a mutt. Uh, it's just a mutt. It took some dogs to create it. But once it's created, it's no longer a mutt if you breed to it. Just take that dog and keep continuously breeding to that dog. And it will become its own self dog. That's after so long though. You don't go do two breedings. And you know I'm on my third generation. So you know this is my own blood. You know that's not. That's just pit bull blood. Crossed to some bulldog blood. That's some staffy blood. Crossed to some bulldog blood. You gotta you know. You gotta get past the gimmicks. You know what I mean? Like, my dog name is Nunu. I can name her the Nunu line. Offer her a uh, litter of pups. You can't do that. Take her two pups and breed them together. And name them the Nunu line. Can't do that either. Can't do that either. You can't do, I mean, you can do it as far as breeding the dogs. But you can't call it a line. It ain't no line. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't no line you just breeding a bulldog cause I ain't gonna stop saying bulldog so you just breeding a bulldog to a pit bull and if, you, if your dog start to come out different colors then we know you bred to something else and called it your line see a lot of y'all went bred to a rottweiler got them tri-colors and them other colors and shit and called it a line That's exactly what happened. You went bred to a rat, and they came out try, 
Some of them came out flurry, fur, furry little dogs, so you had to get rid of those. You don't want nobody to see the furry ones. You know, to keep the other ones, you know, I'm saying they call that our line. It's just a gimmick. It's just a gimmick. It's too many lines out here, to be truthful. Everybody's got a line. I mean, it can't be that many lines because some, some of the, the people that got lines ain't even 32 years old yet. You ain't even 32. And you got a line. And you ain't even 32. You ain't even 32 years old yet. You got a line. Now the ones that have been breeding from 22 to 32 could be close to a line. You know what I mean? I mean... I mean, the guy... uh George Soto looks pretty young. He looks pretty young, you know. He been dealing with that Miyagi shit for a long time, so that could be close to a line. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, that could be close to a line. Uh, you know, when it comes to people that have been breeding them for a long time that have been having dogs out there for a long time you know I don't know if you know a lot of people are gonna say that's a line they're gonna be like that shit ain't no line but you know if he been breeding it that long same kind kind of dogs breeding them his dogs do look you know like each other they do look like each other you know what I mean so you know you know, you got people like Killer Noise Kennels and Big John Bully House. And, you know, the top breeders, man, could be close to a line, you know. Could be close to a line, Hall of Fame, close to a line. You know what I'm saying? I checked out some of uh, uh, Mr. Pratt's Pitts dogs. And, you know, he could be close to a line. All edge people can be close to a line. All that. You know. That's just facts. That stuff is close to a line. But all you guys that just started breeding. That's not close to no damn line. That ain't close to no line, bro. <clears throat> you know what I mean? It's just not. When you still making dogs with, with kink tails and you can't perfect getting a longer tail, that's you you got to you got to you got to perfect that first. You know, if you can't perfect all your dogs having nice hawks without having high rears, that's not a line. That's not a line. You can't even perfect getting your dogs to to not have high rears like my dog I said it before, and I'm going to say it again. I think she has a high rear. She just has a high rear. You know, she has a high rear. I see it in her. She has a high rear. You know, if you throw in high rears, you're having puppies like eight puppies, and six of them have high rears, that ain't a lie. That ain't a lie. You just breed. Some people got to recognize when they just breeding dogs. And you trying to get to that shit that look right. And every single litter that you have, you will say, this is it. This is, it. This is the bomb. This is the future right here. Ain't nobody going to come close to this. But you want to know what? That's just only your third or fourth litter. So we, still, we can't say that's the future. That ain't the future. You know what I'm saying? It's the future right here. I'm, I'm telling you, man, this is the one. When this one hit the ground right here, everybody going to fold. They're going to want to buy the litters all top. All top puppies, 50,000. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 50,000 for the puppy right now. But to be truthful, it's not a line. That's not a line. Inbreed, 
outbreed, line crossing. You have to do all that. You have to find like characteristics in your dogs in order to create a line. When you throw puppies, all of them have to come out the same. They may come out different colors, but they all need to have straight feet and backs. Nice teeth, no underbites, overbites. That stuff, man. You know what I mean? Can't have that. You can't have that in your dog. You got to get rid of all that before you can call it a line. You know what I mean? Man, I don't care if you've been breeding dogs for eight years. Good for you. That's great. You've been breeding dogs for eight years. But do you think you can call your dog a line? Are you ready to send it to the AKC? So they can look at it and look at his history. All the way back in the dogs that bred him. Looking at them dogs to make sure <clears throat> that these are the dogs that bred him. You got pictures of all your breedings. Video footage. You got more than one puppy to show. You got more than one puppy to show. You know, a lot of people got that one puppy. Because he, he's the one. I told you it was going to be the bomb. But... That's not a that's not a line. You only got one puppy, and uh, and the rest of the pups, I I mean, you don't never see the whole litters in a lot of these dogs. That's okay. You don't have to show your litter if you don't want to. You can show that one nice pup to pick at a litter. You know your dog did throw that pup, but it also threw some other stuff that people want to see. Like what's the other stuff that that he's capable of producing? Some of that stuff we don't see. And these come from the same people who say they got a line. <clears throat> and, you know, once you, you make a, a, a dog and put a different color off on it, you got to put that on your pedigree. You got to show what dog you use for the color. You got to put that on your pedigree, too. So, you know, that has to be on your pedigree to show your line, your breeding, everything, man. You know, when the, when the AKC come look at a dog, you know, like the Labradoodle. When they came and looked at the Labradoodle, they looked at the Labradoodle's whole background. And they looked at how many people liked it. Because it is a dog that everybody liked. It's a poodle and a Labrador. And when, he, and when you bred them Labradoodles... They all look the same. They just came out a couple of different colors. You know? You got Miss Jamie Sweets. I think it's Blue River Kennels. Shout out to Blue River Kennels. You know? Shout out to uh, Jamie Sweets. Miss Jamie Sweets. You know? She, she created the Shorty Bull. She took a Frenchie. Bred it to a staffy and took that and bred it to an English bulldog and kept reproducing and reproducing and reproducing the same dogs. So now when you look at a shorty bull, they all look the same. They might be different colors, but they all look the same because they come from the same shit. And she can show you paperwork. So y'all can't really, especially the Merle's. Y'all don't want to show where the heck that Merle came from. Because I know it came from an Australian Shepherd or a Miniature Collie. Or a, a Harlequin Dachshund or a, a Harlequin Men Pen. <laughs> I know where it came from. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. I just want to hear y'all, you know, people who got these dogs and, and love them. You know, oh, man, this the next big thing. This the next big thing. How? His pedigree don't have none of the dogs on there. None of the dogs are on this pedigree. So you don't know what the hell this dog is. If you don't, the pedigree is to show how the dog was bred. We all know this if you a dog man. But if you're not a dog man and if you're not a dog lady, the pedigree is to show how the dog was bred. Exactly how the dog was bred. What did you put in that soup? Exactly what did you put in that gumbo? You know how y'all be talking about this, my gumbo? Nope, that's not your gumbo. 
You know what I'm saying? It's your blend. You blended something. Now, what did you blend? No more soup. No more gumbo. I'm sorry. No more soup. No more gumbo. We talk about blends in the American Bully. And what did you blend? Miss Jamie Sweets, she blended the English Bulldog to the Frenchie to the Staffordshire. That was her soup. <laughs> that was her gumbo. You dig what I'm talking about? So no more hiding. If this top-notch breeder, Miss Jamie Sweets, sat here and bred a top-notch dog that is on his way to being recognized by the American Kennel Club, AKC. If she can tell the truth, all of these gimmicks that is coming from the American Bully Game needs to just stop. Needs to just stop right now because you need to look at the shorty bull. She told the whole truth about her soup, about her gumbo, how much seasoning she put in there. How much celery she put in there? She told the truth, man. She's showing these little bitty dogs active, doing things that really... Shh, the exotics can't keep up with that. They can't keep up with that. Not that shorty bull. Now, that's the that's the best exotic I'd never seen. was Blue River shorty bull. That's the best exotic I'd never seen. You can't get no better than that. You might can put a tail on it since, since a lot of people say we're going to start making them with tails. Go for it. Make them with tails. But they got to be athletic. Like Miss Jamie Sweet's dogs and whoever she helped her create her dogs like those dogs are. Like a shorty bull. You can't tell us you don't know what's in your sweets because you're always trying to tell it or in your line because you're always trying to tell us y'all got a line. A line, you have to tell us what dogs is in your in your pedigree in order to, to have a line. And if you got tricolor in there, oh, I can't wait to see your pedigree. I just I just need to know where you got that tricolor from. And you put it in your soup, in your gumbo, that's what y'all say. And then you got the Merle. Ooh, you know we want to know where that pet is. Oh, my gosh. Where, where, where did you get that dog from? You know we want to know about that Merle. And the blue, too. You know, the blue, too. The blue, too. Because we, we tend to, I tend to think, not no we. First of all, I'm talking about me. I tend to think that that's a Connie Corso blend somewhere way down off in the line. Because when I first seen blue bull, blue pit bulls and the pit bull community does not acknowledge, from what I understand, don't even acknowledge those dogs as American pit bull terriers. And a lot of people say that they have Staffy in them, Staffordshire terrier in them. But when I first seen them, uh, started seeing the blue pit bulls was in the early 90s. And, you know, I didn't heard people say they was around in the 1800s and I heard it, but picture wise i haven't saw it i haven't saw nobody's yard with blue pit bulls in there from back in the days it's probably some out there i'm just saying i haven't saw it if it's floating on the internet all the people with the blue dogs y'all need to pull that shit up and say hey right here it shows you back in the 1800s they had blue pit bulls but uh, what was the uh, pit bull made with? Uh, a bunch of German terriers. Wasn't they German terriers? If I'm not mistaken. It was a blend. <laughs> we, we, we finna go back to the blend. Y'all talking about lines. I'm talking about lines. How you get a line. You have to show and tell about this line. I think I'm 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 telling the truth here. I might have I might be wrong, but I could be telling the truth when they said the pit bull was was created with a blend of German from the German from from Germany. 
from German pincers. All kind of little pincher dogs. I mean, uh, terriers, German terriers. They were German terriers. And they bred those dogs to bulldogs. That's what they bred them to. That's exactly what they bred them to. They bred them to bulldogs. And the name Pit is not their name. The name Pit on the pit bull is not his name. His name is not Pit. His name is Bull Terrier. What he was bred and blended from, you know, the soup. That's what the soup is. Bull and Terrier. That's how it became a line. But there are some other things off in the pit bull. We all didn't heard and know about that too. There are some other things in there. But that's what it is. So it's really just a gimmick when everybody say, I got a line. I'm on my fifth generation. I know I got a line. Who told you that? Because when you start to get a line is when you start to get recognized by big dog people. You know, you want to get recognized by the American Kennel Club. If you feel like you got a dog line, then take it to the AKC. And let them and let them see if you have a dog line because you may have a dog line if you blended up three four different dogs and out of them three four different dogs you know you kept breeding to them outcrossing every now and then to keep your look make your blood fresh then go back in and blend it up to your own shit and you've been doing that for quite some time over and over and over again. Like I told y'all, the way you learn something is through repetition. Doing it over and over and over and over again in repetition. If you've been doing that with them dogs, then maybe you got a line. Maybe you got a line. But it's just way entirely too many lines in the American bully world. The dog ain't even a dog. It don't even... What is a bully? If everybody's bully looks different, and all y'all got a line, then what's a bully? Which one of these dogs is a bully? His bully, all his bully puppies came out red. And all his bully puppies came out merle. And all his bully puppies came out blue. And you got this dude over here with a scatterbred dog. And he got all them colors in one litter. Which one is the bully? If everybody got a line, we should easily be able to know that. We should easily be able to know that. If everybody has a line. Everybody don't have a line. Everybody has dogs. And their dogs have a name for his company. If I was to name my shit, it would be New Quick. New Quick wouldn't be a line. It's just a name. It's just a brand like Nike. Nike is just a brand. It's not, a, you know, a shoe is a shoe. You can stick any sticker on it. So every single dog out here is not a line. We're going, I'm going to say, have to say that just to be truthful. I mean, it might, is it a blend of your own blood? Most definitely. It's a blend of your own blood. You know, you put, you know, I ain't going to say you put Bulldog in there because if you ask somebody, did they put Bulldog in their dog? <laughs> every single person to say no. But every single person got a dog with Bulldog in it. But he didn't put it there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we ain't going to say Bulldog. But, you know, I ain't, I ain't even seeing people breeding the pits no more when it comes to the bullies. They ain't breeding the pits. I said, next dog I want to breed to to be truthful or is, a, is a pit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, and we have a tendency of calling them pits. And I just sat here and said, it's not a pit. It's a bull and terrier. But that's what we call them in the streets. See, when I do videos, sometimes I do them in the street. Just to show that certain dogs ain't in the street. You niggas, you dudes is dealing with color dogs. That's what y'all like out here, man. 
in these in these streets. I like these color dogs, man. I mean, if the dog got some color on it, it's good. And that's a line too. Y'all want them color dogs out here in the streets. And in the dog ring, they want one thing. But out here in the streets, they want another. And I'm not always in the streets. Don't, don't, don't sit here and think I'm always in the street. No, I'm not. It's just when I ride around, you know what I'm saying? I like to, to actually, you know, talk about what I see. Like I said before, the bullies are getting shorter. Um, whew, man, I ain't never seen a dog show like what June threw. June threw a show. It was like, man, it was the, the show was in the thousands. It was, it was the bomb. Okay, the dogs are looking different, you know. I mean, the whole shit is just is, is different. The whole bully game is different, you know. And, I, and I'm I'm looking at it, you know. I'm man, the weather changes, you know. The weather changes. I never did thought that a dog would change, but the weather changes, you know. And right now, the dogs are changing. So maybe you might have to change with the dogs, huh? If you want to uh, keep up with the Joneses. Really, I don't want to keep up with the Joneses. And, you you know, I just want to see a nice dog like like it's supposed to be bred. But that's no longer. We have entered a new era. The era of where it's not even about what older guys even think no more. It's all these younger dudes and they're going to breed what they want to. And that's just it. They're going to breed what they want to. They don't give a damn about the American Kennel Club. They'll create their own clubs like they have been doing. And those clubs are worth more than the American Kennel Club. I mean, it is what it is. They'll tell you that their dog had a couple of puppies and that's a lie. Well, this is called the underworld of dog breeding. Just the underworld, man. Don't y'all see at them dog shows, they be having them dogs on the table and they be screaming louder than the dogs. Screaming up in there. Choking them damn dogs, picking them dogs up off the table, choking them. Snatching his little ass up off the table. Get over here. You see this? It's a $100,000 dog. He's the best dog in here. Y'all be, be like, damn, they over here going crazy. <laughs> Got the dog on the table. The dog scared. They didn't threw him all on the table and turned him to the left and turned him to the right, turned him to the front, turned him to the back. If the dog throw up, it's going to be because he's been turned too many times. <laughs> For real, man. I'm just talking about some real shit that been going on in this this whole little bully world. A bully world is really strange. It's a strange place to be in. Ain't nobody got a nice dog because everybody got the best dog. And don't nobody want to breed to your shit. Because they all want their own blood. And just like I said, all the dogs look different. There's not dogs don't look the same no more. You walk, watch, watch a uh, a bully show, and watch them dogs walk in that ring. They all look different. They all look different. I like those white dogs with those tick tick white dogs with the ticks on them. Those are nice dogs. Hey, it's a dog on the internet named Takashi, man. If y'all ain't seen that dog, y'all need to check that dog out. That dog is badass. His name is Takashi, man. He fat. I'm telling you, he he. He raw. You know, I don't have no problem shouting out a dog. I don't have no problem shouting out a kennel. You know, I'm just not a dog hater like that. I'm a person that see the dogs from a different angle. You know, if it look good, it look good. You know what I mean? A lot of bullies look good. It's just that they just too short. When you take away from the bully, when you take his height away from him, you know, you take his, his look away from him, his buffness. If he don't look like Mufasa, whoo, golly. You know what I'm saying? Man, he got a man. <laughs> it ain't too many people that created a Mufasa out there, boy. 
That boy was bad. Damn. He was so bad. I'm telling you, he was he was a nice dog. Mufasa, rest in peace too, huh? Rest in peace, Mufasa. Rest in peace, Mufasa, for real. He's talking about Moo. See, a lot of people get on here and can't talk about days dogs, the old school dogs, because they don't know nothing about them. Mufasa not an old school dog, but he had that old school blood. That's how it looked. That old school blood, when you come together with it, that's how it looked. That's how some of that shit look. It just be a beautiful dog. Nobody wants a beautiful dog. They want an ugly dog. That motherfucker got to look like a gremlin in the face. That's the dog that sells. The one that come out just looking like a gremlin. His face is so mean looking. Oh, he, he just looked like he could bite you at two, two, three weeks old. He just looked like he could bite you. That's the dog that people want. They want that dog. Although you're not supposed to breed for what people want. But when you look around, do you look? Do you have eyes? Can you see? Can you see? I know you're not trying to breed for what people like. But can you see that this is what they like? A person will have a house with 10 little dogs in there. That same person will have a house with probably one or two American bullies. One or two. That's it. He ain't going to have ten bullies, but he'll have ten of those other dogs. And have ten people lined up ready to buy them too. Fifty and sixty thousand. Yo, know, you could take a line and destroy it like the Frenchie. When you start talking about lines... Just think, you could take 